Hi, my name is Abdul Rahman from Maple Systems, and I'll be going over the bit shifters and rotators, ladder instructions in Mapware 7000. First, let's scroll over to an empty subroutine and examine the instruction for this tutorial. Hover over the Logic tab, then over Shift. Now place the 1-bit shift right on the first rung. Go back to the Shift tab and place the 1-bit shift left on the second rung, the N bit shift right, and N bit shift left on the third and fourth rung. Now the shift register on the fifth rung, and finally the bidirectional shift register on the sixth rung. Now let's observe screen number five. Let's also place the appropriate ladder logic subroutine on the right of the screen. First off, notice the block of buttons on the top center of the screen. Each button is a toggle button. The top left button is addressed to the register D600's 15th bit, and the next button is addressed to the D600 register's 14th bit, and so on until the 0th bit. Please review the logical operators video tutorial for information regarding individual bits in the data registers. The individual enable buttons in the two rectangle executes the appropriate ladder logic instructions, whether to move one bit or n number of bits, right or left. So how does the shift ladder instructions work? First, let's say that we have two rectangles and both rectangles represent the register D600 before and D600 after and both have two bytes or 16 bits allocated to it. The most significant bit is in the far left square and the least significant bit is in the far right. When the one bit shift right instruction is executed with a push of a button, the far left bit shifts one bit to the right and its next bit shifts to the right and so on until the least significant bit whereas the least significant bit is trashed. When the one bit shift left instruction is executed with the push of a button the far right bit shifts one bit to the left and its next bit shifts to the left and so on until the most significant bit whereas it is trashed. So let's say that some bits are turned on and some bits are turned off. When I press the one bit shift right button, all bits shift one bit to the right. The same is true for an n bit shift register, except that we are shifting n number of bits instead of simply one. Now let's go over to an HMC and review screen number 5. We can turn on any particular bit here. When I press the shift right button, it executes the one bit shift right instruction and shifts all bits by one to the right and trashes the least significant bit. Now let's keep on shifting to the right until the bit is trashed. As we can see, the bit is no longer on the screen and if I press the shift left button the bit will not appear because it is trashed. The same is true for the one bit shift left button. Observe. And the same is also true for the end bit shift left or right instruction. Let's go back to the ladder logic and review the rest of the shift ladder instruction. The bidirectional shift register works exactly like the regular 1-bit shift except for a few minor differences. First, it has four input lines rather than one and only one output line. Notice the size parameter. The instruction only takes coils rather than registers. We have a coil table where n is the n number of coils and it works exactly like a register table. The four inputs are D for data input which is either a 1 or a 0, the S for the shift input 
and the E for the enable input. This latter instruction will only execute when both the enable and the shift inputs are turned on. When the enable input is turned off, all coils in the coil table will turn off. And finally, the last input line is L for direction. The on bit signifies a right shift, whereas an off bit signifies a left shift. Notice rung number one. We will cover an in-depth functionality of the timer on ladder instruction in a later video tutorial. But this basically turned on a timer toggle coil every particular millisecond which is defined by a register. It turns on the coil then immediately turns it back off. The timer toggle coil is then used in the shift input to limit the frequency of the shift or in other words to control the speed. Now let's scroll over to screen number six. Let's also place the appropriate ladder logic subroutine on the right of the screen. As we can see the coil table starts from coil B550 and ends with B585 where the size or N is 36. I can turn on any particular coil with a push of a button. So on the screen we have a toggle button to insert an on data or off data into the ladder instruction. We also have the S or the shift input which controls the frequency of the shift. We also have the enable button and lastly we have a coil that controls the direction. Now let's observe screen number 6 on the HMC. First off, notice that all coils in the table are turned on, as well as the enable and the insert coils. The direction is right and the frequency is 50 milliseconds. Let's see what happens if we turn off the enable coil. All coils in the table are turned off immediately. Let's turn on the enable button. Slowly, all coils in the table are turning on with a frequency of 50 milliseconds. Now let's change the frequency to 10 milliseconds and observe. Now it's shifting much faster. Now let's turn on the enable button and insert some random coils. Let's press the direction button and observe what happens. The direction of the shift is now changed based on the direction coil. We can do some really nifty things with the bidirectional shift instruction like animation. Rotators works exactly the same way as a shifter with a few minor differences. Let's scroll over to an empty subroutine and examine the ladder logic instructions. First find the rotators by hovering over the logic tab then to the rotator submenu. Now place each instruction on the subroutine. Now that we know where they are and what they look like, let's go over to an HMC and examine the instructions. On the HMC, let's turn on the D700's 15th bit. Then press the 1 bit rotate right enable button. Now let's keep on pressing it until it reaches the 0th bit. Now let's press the enable button one more time and see what happens. The bit is rotated from the zeroth bit to the fifteenth bit. And this rotation is a major difference between a shift and the rotate instructions. Now let's keep, keep playing with the HMC and examine what happens. And this concludes our video for the shift and rotator ladder instructions. If you have additional questions regarding the bit shifters and bit rotators, please contact Maple Systems or visit us online at maplesystems.com.